Well, from firefighters and police officers to construction and warehouse workers, people across B.C. risk their lives every day just to do their jobs. Last year, workplace accidents were behind 143 deaths, along with thousands of injuries. But those whose lives have been cut short or who continue to struggle with rehabilitation are not forgotten. As Zanies reporter Aaron Glazier shows us, WorkSafe B.C. is part of a national day of mourning to remember and to remind that accidents can be prevented. Representatives from WorkSafe BC, workers and widows of workplace accident victims gathered in Centennial Square to mourn. Across Canada, 1,012 workers lost their lives in 2010 because safety failed them. It's important that people understand that we do fail at that mandate and we collectively fail. So that's employers, it's labour, it's WorkSafe BC and there are tragic consequences and the tragic consequences are what we honour today. A moment of silence was held for workers who didn't make it. Among the crowd, some who did. Uh, when my accident first happened, you know, your first, you know, first thought is, is, is why me? It's, you know, I'm proven that it is not, right? It's uh, life goes on, right? And you got to make the best of it. And Tuck is not alone. 29-year-old Nick Perry is also doing the best he can with the life he's been left with. He's classified as an incomplete paraplegic after he was crushed beneath a load of wood that fell off a forklift. Okay, drop it. My best friend was actually the guy that dropped the load of material on me. Uh, I went into surgery. I had a 13 and a half hour surgery where they installed two rods, uh, six screws, caging around the front of my spine. After three and a half years of rehabilitation, he worked his way up from a wheelchair to crutches and finally walking, something doctors told him he'd never do. Perry gets a pension from WorkSafe BC but still has to work. He earns an income as a public speaker at high schools and businesses. It's funny because people always say, it's a disability, and I think of it as a difference of ability. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Perry's accident, and if he has one key message for young and old workers alike, regardless of your workplace, it is this. I won't bleed for a paycheck um, because I feel that it, it connects on a different level. It's not just I won't take the trash out of McDonald's because I simply don't want to break a nail. You know, it's I won't bleed for a paycheck. WorkSafe BC says workers should participate in any and all safety programs offered by an employer and get certified operating any type of equipment. It's your right. In Victoria, Aaron Glazier, A News.